Happy fragrant Father's Day, Fraghead. Whoa, you bet you weren't I bet you weren't expecting that, or maybe you were. Happy Father's Day to you. So first and foremost, happy weekend. All right, you know this is the channel that welcomes you to your weekend, so I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And in the U.S., at least, in two days, it is Father's Day. Uh, and in case you're wondering, this is not a coincidence that I'm choosing this one uh, because it is my dad's uh, favorite color. So we had to go with amazing green, of course. So, Dad, happy Father's Day to you. Uh, to all of you out there, uh, perhaps you are a father. Uh, maybe you're a stepdad. Maybe you're a foster dad. Maybe you are a fur dad, right? A dad to the pets in your life. Uh, maybe you are the cool uncle that takes uh, the nieces and nephews to the water park all day, gets them the pa like the special pass so they don't have to wait in line, uh, gives them all the caffeine, sugar, device, screen time that they want, and oh yeah, way too much pizza. And yes, of course, they get to stay up late. Uh, maybe that's you. Or maybe, you know, maybe your your baby truly is a replica trophy of the 2016 Chicago Cubs World Series victory. Who am I to judge? If that is your baby, happy Father's Day to you. Okay? So, I think I've covered just about all of you. Either way, happy Father's Day. I hope you're doing well. Before I dive into the notes, though, of course, there's only one thing else left to do, which is to thank all the new subscribers since uh, last Friday. Uh, you guys are really amazing, and I really appreciate uh, all of your support uh, for this small uh, yet spirited channel. I thank you very, very much. Uh, yet again, we've had an absolute avalanche of uh, new subscribers, uh, and I, I sincerely appreciate all of your help, support, and always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and if you like the content, then make sure you forward it on to your fellow fragheads. All right, so uh, like I said, I got uh, a package a while back from uh, Lucky Scent. And so this one is uh, Comme des Gassins. This one is, there it goes, Comme des Gassins, Amazing Green. You can see I hardly have any left at all. And as I said earlier, I specifically chose this one because uh, it is my dad's favorite color uh, and also, also mine. Uh, but that, that's the main reason, right, uh, is dad. So uh, Amazing Green. This one made my top 10 list for spring fragrances. So uh, this one made it number four, actually, in my top 10. And you can head on over there now to check it out. Okay, so um, you might be wondering if it's number four in your top 10, it has to be way up there. One of the things that I love, love, love about this fragrance is that it is truly a spring fragrance for me. One of the hard things for me to do is a top 10 spring. I've said it before, and it's because to me, fragrances tend to fall into the spring summer category, and it's hard to tease those two apart and have only a spring. Uh, this one, in my estimation, truly does that. I find it to be um, a spring fragrance. All right, so let's dive in, shall we? Uh, let's talk about the nomenclature. So first and foremost, get ready to have your mind blown because Comme des Garçons is not a French company. Whoa. I actually did not know that. I must confess that I thought it was a French company. It is not. So the pronunciation is Comme des Garçons. So you guys, a lot of people know the word garçon from waiter. Uh, in English, it's used to mean waiter, but it means boy in French. Uh, and so comb, like comb your hair, comb day, day of the week. And then garçon would be like garçon without the N at the end. So like garçon. And so it, oftentimes they, people use the acronym CDG, as you might imagine. Comb des garçons, of course, mean, it means like boys uh, in French, but it is a Paris-based Japanese brand. Uh, and the creator of the brand from the 1960s, actually, I think 1973, when it was official, if I'm not mistaken, was Rei Kawakubo. Rei Kawakubo. So, interesting. I did not know that this was a Japanese brand. Uh, apparently, it's a brand. I know them more for fragrances, but they're also known for fashion. So, 
Anyway, that's the house, CDG, Comme des Garçons, and then of course, uh, Amazing Green. Nothing really needs to be said about that, does it? It's an aromatic green, no surprise there. Uh, 2012 release, uh, and again, uh, number four for me on the spring top 10 list, but I really wanted to uh, tr I had a, a, a very small sample and this actually, and I wanted to try it again and revisit it. it this one was about a week, so I was able to wear it uh, all week. So I'm going to do something a little bit different for the notes. When it comes to the notes, I usually give you three, four, or five notes that come to mind. But this time I, I'm, I'm reading from my cheat sheet. I want you to know that. I'm reading from my cheat sheet and I'm going to tell you more about this, the scent itself for me uh, because it, it, it's not so much about each individual note. Uh, it's one of those fragrances. So uh, according to Fragrantica, this has green accord, green pepper, went, uh, water notes. Uh, and, and by the way, on their site, they list dew mist. Ooh. Uh, really? Is dew mist? Are, are people actually out there in the morning collecting dew mist uh, for this fragrance? I don't think so. Uh, palm tree, ivy, coriander, orris root, vetiver, gunpowder, and incense, and white musk. So here's here's why I, I'm not I, I could not have come up with a lot of those, especially gunpowder. Uh, I could not have come up with those notes. Here's what I get. This this to me is an incredibly fresh scent, and I mean this in the best possible way. Shower gel. When I think of this fragrance, I think shower gel. This to me just screams Irish Spring shower gel meets palm olive dish soap you probably weren't expecting that either uh, it does though this one really has a very very strong fresh uh irish spring shower gel so it you know it's kind of like an upper echelon luxurious shower gel uh, instead of bar of soap isn't it uh so i would say again to me it conjures up the notion of irish spring shower gel meets uh palm olive uh, dish soap uh, again meaning that in the best possible way it is a very very fresh uh, vibrant ener energetic fragrance uh, this one is not going to me this one is not um, you know ha doesn't have the, the the sexy romantic element to it this one would be more daytime spring uh, and then it would be social engagements for me uh, during the, the day but uh, again it, this is kind of celebrating the end of winter. Everything is green again. I know, amazing green. Yeah, you knew it was going to happen. Uh, you, you've just cut the grass for the first time. Everyone's going to go out to you know. Think of like a farmer's market, or think of some sort. Think of live music. Uh, I, I I definitely think there's there's an exuberance about this fragrance that I really really appreciate, and a lot of it stems from the fact that you're kind of celebrating the end of winter. I Here's the thing. I love fragrances so much. The only thing I like about winter, the only thing about winter that I like is the fact that most of the fragrances I love are heavy winter-based cold climate fragrances. That's how much I love fragrances. I don't like winter at all. So, you know, whenever spring finally hits, uh, for the three weeks that it lasts, uh, then I'm always super happy to wear th something like 212 by uh, Carolina Herrera or uh, Amazing Green by Comme des Garçons or CDG, as it were. So th those are the notes. Again, I mean it in the best possible way. It's a very fresh uh, fragrance, um, and and it doesn't. It, it's not an in-your-face fragrance, so it's going to be perfect for like the the events that I just mentioned. So again, so age age to me would be. Uh, I'm just saying I, I, I wore it. I would like to wear it. I, I enjoy it. It's uh, way up the list on my on my top 10 spring. I would say probably 20 to 30, 20s and 30s. So let's go, let's go like, um, how about post high school? So why don't we say uh, 18 to 40? How's that one? Uh, on 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 this one, the it, it is vibrant. It is energetic. And it is, there's, there is a youthful quality. Now, I'm not trying to say it's like fierce, you know, by Abercrombie and Fitch, where if you do wear it and you're like 41 or older, uh, that you know people will accuse you of having a midlife crisis and trying to uh, wear younger fragrances. Not at all. Uh, but uh, if I had to choose, I think most people wearing this would be uh, probably between the 18 and 40 range. Um, 
I, I do see this one as more masculine. I see it as quite masculine, actually. I would not call this a unisex fragrance. Uh, a woman, obviously, with, with uh, when, when you talk about Irish Spring, um, you know, uh, shower gel, uh, a, a woman could wear this, but I think, I think this would be more appreciated on a guy. Uh, and so I'm going to say probably 75, 25, actually. I think about 75% of the people who wear this will be men and 25% would be uh, women. So uh, I found it again, quite, quite uh, masculine. All right. So when it comes to longevity, projection, and sillage, um, unfortunately, we have to break out our inner Eeyore, don't we? Because when you look at longevity for this one, I, I am getting four to six hours. Now, this is a sample, and of course, it does not have a sprayer. And, but I have had decants before of this one and uh, with a sprayer, and I still get four to six. I, I typically spray on my skin, not on my clothes, but you know, you're looking at about four to six hours. For a $125 you know, price point, that's not really what you, where you want to be. When it comes to projection, again, it's going to be about an elbow's length away for the first couple, and then it's going to settle very, very close to your skin. So this one would be one that I would actually spray on my clothes, uh, especially because I associate this one with uh, live music, things like that. Being outdoors in the spring, you, you really want... Uh, a fragrance that's going to be a heavy hitter and this one really doesn't cut the mustard uh, when it comes to that same way with sillage uh, maybe if you're in uh, some sort of uh, in a house somebody's somebody's house party coming in and out of rooms um, if you don't spray on your clothes you might not get noticed so i have to say uh, time to break out eeyore when it comes to that because this fragrance for me is like i mentioned is number four in my top 10 i really i in terms of smell i absolutely love it in terms of just smell and and also the association of kind of you know winter has just ended right there's this that, that youthful uh, exuberant uh, energetic uh, quality that i love about this fragrance but when it comes to the, so so the smell is outstanding I'd, I'd probably say four out of five uh, almost five out of five but i have to dock a point when it comes to longevity projection and sillage and you know i have to say there are two other fragrances that are similar to this one they're not clones they're not copies but they are similar and one is cyber garden by costum national and instead of the gunpowder note uh, it has a vinyl note, uh, and I do appreciate that one. Uh, it's in terms of strict just the smell, I would go this one, but I love Cyber Garden because it does have fantastic longevity and projection and sillage, and, and they're about the same price. You're looking at about 120 to 135 bucks for 100 milliliter 3.4 ounce, and if they're if they're essentially the same price, you know, just on. If they had, if they had um, amazing green extreme, absolutely, I'd go with this one. But I would have to tell you now, I would probably choose Cyber Garden by Costum National just because over this, just because of the longevity projection and siage. The other one, if you are strapped for cash and you're looking at a bottle that can be had for about twenty-five or thirty bucks, um, I'll put the name if I don't get it right down below. But it's by Issey Miyake, and it is uh, Le Le Bleu or Le de Bleu. Uh, which has a total identity crisis. I know you're hearing blue there. It is a green fragrance. Do not be fooled by that. And I had it for a while. I liked it. It it it, it is. It certainly isn't um, as natural as as uh, as even Cyber Garden or especially this one. This one has a much more like a higher quality ingredients uh, take to it but for 25 30 bucks you can get a bottle of that one and that one is um underrated so uh, and it's definitely a green fragrance so there you have it folks i, I you know i'm stuck because I, I would probably want to give this a four out of five uh sprays or uh, and i know you were asking yep it's going to be dabs uh but i'm going to say that i'm i will dock at a point and go with three out of five so we are going to go three out of five dabs for Amazing Green. And I will go, how about, um, and actually I've used so much. I, I'm going to, yeah, this is, this, this part of it's dry. So I'll use dabs. I will go one on each wrist and one across the neck. I'm going to be really inventive here. All right. Three out of five CDG Comme des Gassins Amazing Green. One. Two and whoa, three. I know Al. 
uh, Al's at Street Sense is saying, don't touch, it'll kill the molecules. All right, folks, there you have it. Another review by the boards. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Uh, and again, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. And always remember, fragrance marks the celebration of today. Take care, everybody. And, uh, and and you're outdoors and everyone's, you know, th there's there's that feeling. For those of us who have a, a nasty winter here, you know what I'm talking about. First of all, I'm, I'm from the Midwest and I'm in the Midwest and we have invented, I know you know, you agree with me, we have invented wearing shorts on the absolute very first day of spring when it's like, I don't know, zero degrees. You know what I'm talking about because it... it you can always tell people are from ultra cold, cold climates when it's like 20 degrees out. It's that first time it's above zero uh, Fahrenheit, of course. Uh, and then people break out the t-shirt and shorts. Uh, we are famous for that, and we do do that. Uh, no one does that look quite like we do uh, when it comes to you know late February, early March. Uh, a little awkward there.